wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best Japanese history books. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, while many texts on this subject are content to begin around the establishment of the Tokugawa period, a History of Japan Revised Edition takes readers all the way back to ancient times, looking at the development of its people's art and religion. It includes images and illustrations, and focuses on Asia-Pacific conflicts. However, it lacks depth in some sections. At number 9, a history of the Japanese people from the earliest times to the end of the Meiji era is a weighty tome that isn't meant for the average reader. It covers its stated period comprehensively and, as a bonus, can be downloaded for free. It's a great resource for students and chronicles almost every emperor, but it doesn't cover recent events. Coming in at number 8 on our list, John W. Dower follows up his seminal text War Without Mercy with a look at the nation in the aftermath of atomic destruction in Embracing Defeat. It's a moving and provocative portrayal that may be hard for some to finish. It reveals the horrors of occupation and intertwines cultural touchstones. However, the detail-focused approach can be tedious. Our newest choices can only be seen at Wiki. .easybit.com. Go there now and search for Japanese history books, or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, a concise history of Japan covers a broad range of topics, from the country's relationships with minorities to the rise of the samurai to economic developments. So if you want a text that provides a solid foundation in a variety of areas, it's a good choice. It begins in ancient times and discusses most major events. It maintains a coherent progression. Moving up our list to number 6. Anyone studying the bygone days of the country can't help but be drawn to its elite warrior class, and Samurai and Illustrated History by Mitsuo Kuri gives readers an in-depth look at their lifestyle, covering a period from the 12th to the 19th century. It traces their growth and decline and includes nearly 800 color pictures. However, note that some of the photos are reenactments. Halfway up our list at number 5. In the fourth edition of Modern History from Tokugawa Times to the Present, Andrew Gordon takes you through the country's various cultural milestones, including the Meiji Revolution, its experiments with mass democracy, and the adoption of Western styles. It covers the development of Hokkaido and discusses many socio-economic issues. It features short sections for casual readers. At number 4. Japan has undergone incredibly challenging periods of change in the past several centuries, and Bending Adversity by David Pilling studies how the country and culture persevered through these times to create a compelling historical arc. It covers the acid bubble burst and looks closely at the 2011 earthquake. It feels journalistically authentic. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, utilizing a vast number of previously untapped resources, including first-hand letters and diaries of royal court members, the author of Hirohito and the Making of Modern Japan goes into great detail on the more than 60-year reign of the country's 124th emperor. It covers the period from 1926 to 1989 and debunks many common myths. It's an engaging read for Pacific War buffs. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for Japanese history books, or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, Shinseng Gumi, the Shogun's Last Samurai Corps, examines the dying days of the Tokugawa Shogunate from the perspective of the leader's ruthless samurai police force. It covers a time period that's packed with drama, from violent fights in the streets to the burning of Kyoto. It features deeply detailed accounts and is based mostly on primary sources. It's delightfully bloody. And taking the top spot on our list. The Making of Modern Japan by Marius B. Jansen takes a close look at the ways in which the country's culture has changed since the end of the Warring States period in 1600 CE. Its main focal points include the establishment of the Tokugawa Shogunate and World War II. It's written in a scholarly style and handles complexities well. It takes an unbiased viewpoint. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. 
Go there now and search for Japanese history books or simply click beneath this video.